Hello, I'm Executive Chef Joseph Schutzler, and welcome to our kitchen. Today I'd like to share with you my recipe and technique for making just about everybody's favorite comfort food, no matter your age, chicken pot pie. Chicken pot pie is something that can be served on a cold winter's day, and even in the hot of summer, you'll still enjoy it. So join me now as I show you how I prepare this flavorful, wonderful dish. Let's begin with making the roux. That is fat and flour in equal parts. So we have our butter melted, and let's go ahead and gently add your flour and carefully stir it together. We will mix this until the flour is completely absorbed and cook it for a few minutes. It will develop a nice golden color and you'll get the faint smell of roasted nuts. Um, that we will call blonde roux. And that's what we're looking for. You don't want to go too dark with it because it will take on a much nuttier flavor. And then keep in mind that at the end of the day, the color of your stock or velouté will be dependent upon how dark your roux is. Well, here we are. Our roux is beginning to develop this nutty smell. Now let's go ahead and remove it from the heat. Over medium heat, let's preheat our saucepan and go ahead and add our onions and garlic. Let's go ahead and saute these for a minute or so, just until translucent. Do not uh, get any color on them. We don't want them to brown up. Now our onions are ready. Let's go ahead and add our mushrooms. This is just something I like to add into the mix because one, I love mushrooms and plus they help give an earthy flavor to a pot pie. Now the mushrooms are almost cooked. Let's go ahead and add carrots and parsnip. Go ahead and stir those around. Let that cook for about a minute. Now what I like to do is add my chicken stock. Once the chicken stock is added, increase your heat to medium high and bring it to a simmer. Now that our stock is coming to a simmer, let's go ahead and add roux. Then just go ahead and gently stir the roux in. <clears throat> I would reduce the temperature to medium or me uh, kind of towards the lower end. <clears throat> and uh, continuously stir it until all the roux dissolves into your stock, which um, as you may have seen in my other videos, when you add a roux to a stock, you make a velouté, which is one of your five mother sauces. We'll allow this to simmer for 20 minutes to get the starchy flavor out of it and allow it to cook, reduce, and also thicken. Well, here we are. We have our dough already uh, rolled out. I cut them already a little bit into a round shape to make it a lot easier when you go to fit it into your pie dish. Now, I'm using a nine inch pie dish and uh, let's go ahead and drop in our shell or dough, I should say. And then go ahead and gently press it against the dish so you don't break it up and then start to firmly press it, make sure, making certain that you hit the corners really well. Now that we got that done, let's go ahead and fill our shell. The, uh, the stock was made last night from a whole uh, walk, chicken wog and um, a lot of people ask me, Chef, what is a WOG? Well, a WOG, W-O-G is an acronym for a whole chicken that is without the giblets. 
So, got it filled up nice. I like to tap it a little bit just to no air pockets. Now, let's go ahead and uh, let's top this bugger. Now, I'm just going to roll the edges over top. Now that we have it crimped, let's go ahead and uh, poke some holes in there. This is going to enable steam to escape and not let your top, your roof, blow off there and then just bubble up and not look so good. So we are now ready for the oven. Preheated at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. We will put that in there for about 30 to 40 minutes. Your top should be a nice golden brown. Well, there you have chicken pot pie done my way. Feel free to make this with anything, uh, duck, turkey, um, you can even do with beef, lamb, and do other type of meat pies. Uh, you can do seafood pie this way as well. The dish itself is really easy, it's very flavorful, and uh, the filling is pretty much uh, like turkey a la king. If you don't have time to make the dough for the crust and or if you're just really not a, a great baker don't worry making the filling and pour that over top of pasta pour it over top of rice and have you know a variation of like a turkey a la king chicken a la king you know whatever have that over top of potatoes mashed potatoes it would be a great way to serve it as well um, well I hope you enjoyed today's demonstration and I uh, hope you see how easy pot pie really is to make. If you have not done so, please feel free to subscribe to our channel. We have a wide variety of videos and different foods and different ethnic foods as well as uh, different cooking techniques. And hit that uh, bell for notifications. That way you can be notified on our weekly posts. Thank you again for joining. Yodvaya.